Today's guest on Sunday Travels is Havana Brown. She is one of Australia's most prominent female DJs and not only that, music producer and a singer. And she just so happens to be Mauritian. So we're gonna get in the kitchen and cook a tasty feast inspired by Mauritius. Hey look, I know how to work the deck. So <laughs> yeah. I was like, okay, there we go. <laughs> See, that's why I have her here. You wanna hear like, <laughs> I feel like I'm in Mauritius right now. I know. Oh, this is so good. Hi, how are you? So good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah. Can cook with you now? Yes, I'm excited. <laughs> Let's do it. Havana, you're in the kitchen with me and I'm excited <laughs> to cook together. I'm excited to be here. <laughs> you a bit so scared. Really? Yeah, Why? You, you're know. next to me. It's I know, fine. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's the problem. No, <laughs> no, no I mean, and you're from Mauritius. Yes. And the dish that you've chosen is something very island yes. you know fresh and yes uh, similar to what we cook all the time on the island yeah so my my parents cook this all the time my partner is obsessed with the lentils and really you know, the fried fish you know he loves it so he always requests it so, oh yeah yeah amazing and it's like I think I like it because it's quite like fresh and light mm. and even though there is kind of those little influences of spices it's mm. more like you said the ginger and fresh thyme yeah. and you know yeah. lighter kind of flavors. Yeah, it's actually really healthy. <laughs> yeah, yeah they, exactly. They eat pretty healthy, very healthy actually. Yeah, island life is a good thing. Yes, I think absolutely. we should have all like migrated to an <laughs> island for the last like and couple of years. it's all organic, all clean. You know. Yeah, so it's, it's that's incredible. the best thing. Yeah. yeah. So we'll get straight into the lentils. I am going to use coconut oil. So yeah. this is a great one. It's um a liquid coconut oil from mm. Cocoa Earth. So we'll add that in. Mm -hmm and we'll fry off the onion. So do you get a taste of coconut in it? Yeah, a little bit. Mm. So, you know, just a light um, hint of coconut, but mm. it's quite mild, so mm. it's good. Yeah. And we'll add in the onions. Do you like coconut? I love coconut. <laughs> I mean, that's very much what they do on the island. So my parents are from an island near Mauritius yeah. called Rodrigues. Amazing. So they, I mean, it's all about the mangoes, the coconut. Yeah. And, it's just incredible. Yeah, I think you're the ultimate guest because this is all about travel. And, and I I really believe that travel helps us to understand people, mm. cultures, yep. and, you know, um, get a sense of what is out there mm. outside of our little, you know, box. Mm. And you're constantly yes. in the air, flying yes. to another country and to like yeah. quite unique destinations. Mm. How has that experience been for you? I mean, look, I think it's like, it, it, it was really hard in the beginning because you're constantly living out of your suitcase mm. and you're constantly, constantly being confronted by just new people there's no real comfort zones you yeah. know when you're traveling all the time yeah and especially like with us we we're kind of flying in staying for a night leaving yeah. and so there was no time to like sit around and just really enjoy this new city mm. that you're in or new country that you're in so yeah. like in the last i'd say about three four years we actually decided that we wanted to be a little bit more conscious of yeah how much time we're spending in places especially mm. if there were places that we were excited about because it was about building memories in those places yeah. as well not just seeing the club and then just and yeah. and exiting as soon as you finish even just one extra night where you go out to dinner and you do yeah. what the locals do that's my favorite thing Same. to do what the locals do exactly. so you live like them yeah and that's I've, I've, Oh, that's how I feel like you actually get to experience a city. That is totally my philosophy. So I have this thing whenever I go to a new city, I have to go to like the local grocery store yes. or the local market. Yeah. And I just like potter like for an um, hour and just look around. I would love to do that too. But that could be your new thing. It has to be. The only reason I don't is because like my partner would be like, oh, this is boring. <laughs> Why don't we go out? I'll be like, no, but this is interesting. You actually yeah. see what they eat totally and like what kind of foods they like really love you yeah know? it really like tells a lot about the people from that area so yeah, that's do you have great. anything like that that you like to do when you get to a city um what i like to do because we do like eating at restaurants we do like to find the local restaurant that yeah the locals love yeah and go that to. is the best yeah and yeah i mean i've kind of gotten myself into a lot of trouble sometimes because i have gone to a local restaurant that is like, let's say Japanese, right? Yeah. And I've kind of gone, I want to go to the, I love Japanese. Yeah. And I want to go to the most authentic Japanese yeah. there is. And they take you and it's, 
it's incredible. Yeah. But at the same time, you're faced with situations where they're giving you like, like interesting raw chicken. Oh you know what I mean? Like, and for us, like, mind you, there's raw fish. I'm fine with the raw fish. Yeah. But raw chicken, I'm like, mm. uh, are you sure we're meant to be eating this? Like, <laughs> is that normal? And they're like, yes. <laughs> yes, 10 years ago, you guys weren't even eating raw fish. So, but I might stick to the raw fish instead of the Yeah. <laughs> So, I think so. So I've got this spice blend that I was telling you about. It's um, ginger, a bit of thyme, Ooh. and um, yeah, just light. Like I think it doesn't need too much. We'll use the same one for the fish as well. So that's all blended together already. So you don't. Yeah. Oh, that's I made great. it just for you. So oh, inspired by awesome. you and your mom. Thank you. <laughs> that's awesome. It smells beautiful. Yeah. So nice flavors and. I'm going to pop in the lentils and then water mm -hmm. and then we'll pop this one on at the back and just let it cook away, bubble okay. and, and... What about like the tomato? Oh yeah, tomato. Do you want to put the tomato in? <laughs> yeah, it might be a bit dry. Yeah, I'll add the tomato. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why I have it here. <laughs> so what sort of foods do you eat at home? Um, well, we're pescatarian at yeah. home, but my parents are not. Yeah. But um, I, I, I really, when I've been away, what I really miss is mm. that home cooked meal that my yeah. mum makes, which is always like lentils, fish, curries. But yeah. it's like a little bit lighter of a curry than I wouldn't yeah. compare it. Like it's much lighter than an Indian curry because Rodriguez are we're we're Creole, so we're a mix of all different nationalities. That's amazing. And so we all kind of look different, but then all our foods like there's Asian and there's, yeah. um, there's you know African influences and yeah. You know, French influences, so it's everything. It's incredible. Yeah. It's, so it's like it's a big mix. So we kind of take the best of everything. Yeah, okay, yep, that, I like we'll, that. We'll love that. We'll have that. <laughs> Mostly they eat a lot of vegetarian stuff because that's what's easily accessible on yeah. the island. And don't you think like it's these kind of look at you all I'm over? Just... It. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it needs to be like, Yeah, she picks things up quickly. <laughs> Hey, look, I know how to work the deck. So yeah. I was like, okay, there we go. I worked it out. I worked it out. Oh, okay, let's move this onto the back and yes. let it simmer away. Yes. And then we'll make our fish. <laughs> I love that. You need to, like, tell us what to do. Just, just peek. Just, just peek. Bring it in the big guns now. <laughs> Is it okay? Thumbs up. <laughs> Yeah, Was it okay? Yeah. Is it enough? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll add a little bit more if I need to. Yeah. Should I add more now? No, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now onto our fish. Mm -hmm. And I loved our chat when you were telling me all about the fact that it's just really simple flavors and mm -hmm. not a lot that goes onto the fish. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. you know, ginger, thyme, black pepper, salt. Pretty much just salt and pepper. Uh, that's really? what you do? Yeah, yeah really simple. Pepper, but then fried, you yeah? know, into okay. shallow yeah. oil. So I'll let you do that then. Okay. Do you want to just um, some go oil. for it? Yeah. Well, coconut oil. Coconut oil, yeah. There we go. We don't want to like deep fry it. Yeah, so it's just, just really light. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. amazing. You want to hear like, <laughs> it's all good. about sounds. Yes. <laughs> you want to hear that sizzle. <laughs> oh, that's a bit better. That's good. Enough? It might as well. Yeah. I reckon. I think so. Yeah. That's the sizzle. See the sizzle. <laughs> Yummy. Yeah. We've got some sizzle going on here. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now yeah, the battle. you definitely got some sizzle going on here. <laughs> now just uh, for your crispiness, I've got mm. some radish, cucumber, yep. and okay. a little bit of carrot, okay. and some just leaves, and just the vinegar, because you said, mm. you know, quite tangy. Yeah. And keep that nice and fresh. With salt and pepper. Yeah, okay, yep. done. Yeah, just, oh no, but, I ruined it. <laughs> no, <laughs> nothing is ever ruined. I ruined it. Nothing the is skin. ever ruined. Did you want to do this? Yeah, I'll flip. Yeah, you, you flip. <laughs> Oh, looks good. Look how flaky it's like yeah. cooking through really nicely. I love mm -hmm. all the like little crispy bits. It's starting to like, <laughs> yeah. I want to eat it's those bits. Together. It is. Yeah, uh, no, always like skin crispy. Is oh, the yeah, best. exactly. So I think we'll just plate this up and we can yep. go enjoy this under the vines outside. Yes, sounds fabulous. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm hungry. Yes. I'm very hungry. This <laughs> smells incredible. Okay. Oh, okay. 
I will serve. Thank you very much. This looks so good. So have you had Mauritian food before? No, I haven't, but it's so my kind of food. I just love it. Mm. I'm very excited to taste. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. Mm. Mm, the crispy bits. Oh, yes. <laughs> See, it always comes together in the oh, end, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> That's going to be the new way I cook mine. <laughs> yeah. No mistake is ever a bad thing. No, definitely not. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Like yeah. It is. It's just light. Like, yeah. Not, like nothing's overpowering, but yeah. it's still fresh and really tasty. It's... And it will um, it will fill you up too for a mm -hmm. long time too. Yum. Mm. Mm. I feel like I'm in Mauritius right now. I know. <laughs> I know. And so your album is out at the moment now? Well, I'm, I'm you're like... relaunching? Well, so I've just released uh, We Run The Night 2.0 because yeah. We Run The Night was my first single that yeah. I released 10 years ago. And um, we did a, a, a new version of it with yeah. Hooligan Hefts. Yeah. But I've been like, while we've been in lockdown, I've been in the studio working, yeah. uh, producing music, singing, and just kind of working on my a new original music. And yeah. it's more down the dance era, which I think amazing. Um, a lot of my yeah. fans would like. Yeah. <laughs> but that's good. Um, so, yeah, so it's definitely, I'm really excited for people to hear the new yeah. music that's coming out real soon. Now, I believe a cheer is in order because you've been working on a, an amazing new brand. Yes. White rum. Yes, I have been. It's such an amazing idea. Yes. Well, I love rum and I've always been drinking rum. In fact, the last couple of years, I've really discovered rum, especially when I came back, when I went to Mauritius in 2019. I went to all the distilleries in Mauritius wow. and I was, it was so incredible. I was like, why am I not drinking rum? It tastes incredible. Yeah. Like, and so um, so I've been working on my own brand That's of so rum, cool. which it will be out very soon. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm very excited because it's like very much connected to where I'm from. Amazing. Mm. Well, let's cheers it to that. Cheers. Thanks for coming over and cooking Thank with you. me. Thank you. And my favourite way to drink it is in, with pineapple juice. Yeah. <laughs> Go, 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 go! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ivana, it's been so nice chatting with you, and I just, I really love how you're navigating this industry where it could so easily, you know, take you astray, mm -hmm. and you're doing it just, you know, with such a positive mindset, and you're inspiring, uh, oh, you thanks. know, the younger generation, and it's so nice. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate so, that. And honestly, this was delicious. I'm glad that you took me into your home a little bit as well. So <laughs> yeah. thank you. Thank you very much for having me. <laughs> Anytime. I'm going to finish this now. <laughs>